Hi guys, um, I'm finally getting around to editing all this footage from the hospital, so I just wanted to add this quick into each of the videos. This video is several parts because there ended up being so much footage, um, and so this is going to be in front of every video, so if you're on part two or three, you're seeing this again, but I am sorting through all the footage, and there's a few things I want to say quick. Um, one. I am so not myself in this in these videos. I as I'm watching this, I'm like, "Wow, you're really slow." Like pain meds kind of a they were affecting me a little bit. And it's funny. At the time I felt totally fine, but nope, I can definitely tell that I was uh I was on pain meds. And two. So this entire vlog, I'm itching my face. And there's I have a good reason for that, okay? The reason that this entire vlog is me itching my face is because pain meds, specifically oxycodone and morphine, make me very itchy. And most of this hospital stay, I was in horrible pain, except for when I had just had pain meds. Um, and right after I'd had pain meds, the pain was low enough that I was able to pick up the camera. Um, but also, since I just had pain meds, I was also in the window of time where I was very itchy. So <laughs> that's why all of this footage is me like itching my face because pain meds. So I just wanted to say that because I can just imagine all the comments being like, why are you itching your face? Like, wow, you're itching your face a lot. It's like, yep, I know. <laughs> so I'm just now getting around to editing, to finishing up editing all this footage. It's taken me a long time, um, about three and a half weeks, but hopefully, well, you guys are seeing this now, so these vlogs are up, but I'm so glad that I was able to film this for you and share my story um, of my surgeries with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the videos, and thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Love you guys! Sorry, I've been so bad about vlogging, guys. I really haven't picked up the camera that much. But I've just been doing a lot of resting. Um, there's, it's actually now Wednesday morning. One of the doctors has come around, but not all of them yet. Um, apparently, I had an episode last night where I was like so out of it and confused. They were asking me like, do you know where you are? And I did not, but I was, I thought I was in the bathroom, but I was actually laying in bed. I thought I was in the bed, I don't know. But I took my sleeping medicine along with my pain medication, and it was like, a lot. But I haven't, they want me to be able to walk before I go home. And right now I can't make it more than 10 feet without gagging over a bucket. So, I think that's pretty much the last step to maybe going home, um, but I'm not sure. I'm almost up to my goal rate of feeds. Just talking here is making me super nauseous. I still haven't finished Passengers. I watched like 15 minutes of it and then I got so tired I had to turn it off. Oh guys, I look, my mouth is so dry. I'm like, <clears throat> but the port site is looking good still. And the two sites looking good. They're both still very, very sore. But I mean that's gonna it's gonna be that way for a while. I'll let you guys know what happens after all the doctors come around for rounds and decide whether or not I can go home. So it's been kind of a crazy day. Um orthopedic came by because she hasn't been by it since I, well, she hasn't seen me since after surgery. Um, and she looked at my hip and she actually got to see it. It was kind of out of place when she was here. So she got to see that go back in and the big noise that that makes. So that was good because she's never gotten to see that before. Um, but we are going to be scheduling an MRI for a few weeks out um, because she thinks that there's probably something wrong with my labrum um, and that might need to be fixed. So that happened. And they are checking a few more things, 
in my labs and they're not sure if I'll get to go home today or not. Um, I got up and walked for the first time up and down the hallway which was really hard and not pleasant. But I did it, so that's good. Um, I'm now 15 minutes into the movie that I started yesterday. <laughs> so, progress, right? No. <laughs> I, I should watch that. I want to watch it, I just keep forgetting. But, I don't know. There's been a lot of trying to figure out plans today. It's, it's kind of stressing me out. But, we also cleaned my feeding tube for the first time. That was, it wasn't that bad, but it definitely wasn't pleasant. Um, I'm gonna, oh, I remember. So I got my pick line taken out in surgery, and there's been a band-aid over it, and so I haven't gotten to see where Patrick was yet, and I think I'm gonna, like, take the band-aid off and see what it looks like. Let's just hope that they can get these labs drawn so that I can figure out if I can go home or not. So I'm actually doing a little bit better this evening and I'm going home. They really just, there's not anything else that I need to be here for. All of my labs looked good and basically I just get to go finish recovering at home so that's good. Um, tube is pretty sore and it's swollen and poor it is sore but I just had more pain meds <sighs> I'm itchy now because I had pain meds so they're going to take this dressing off so that my port site can breathe and that's supposed to hurt so ugh, not looking forward to that but I'm packing up and oh I'm so nauseous <sighs> anytime I sit up or stand up I get this entire vlog is just going to be me edging my face from pain medicine. <laughs> Anytime I sit up or stand up, I get super, super nauseous. So this car is going to be so fun. But I'm going to get nausea medicine here in just a few minutes. And I'm chewing on some peppermint gum. So hopefully that will help. I'm going to set up my feed bag in my backpack. So that I'm still hooked up to feeds on our way home. I'm so ready to go home, but I'm also like... I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm so nervous for him to take this off though. Cause I just know it's gonna hurt. I'm also super nervous for when they first access my port. That's gonna hurt. But I'm gonna use numbing cream, so hopefully it'll be good. Uh, you ready? You ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna go home. We're all ready. And guys, I never finished the movie. <laughs> I was going to take my peripheral IV out. I'm going to have to like lay down in the car. Uh, so yeah, we're just getting all packed up. I'm going to wear these pajamas home because I don't want to change. So we're getting ready to, to go and my sister did my hair. Got some nice, got some nice visitors. Say hi. This is Weston, and this is Katie, my sister, and you know mom. <laughs> so, got those balloons. We've been waiting for a really long time. They're taking kind of forever with all the tests. Yeah, so we're not quite in the clear yet, but I mean, we think we're gonna get to go home, and we took this dressing off. So now it's just my Steri strips, which scares me. Yeah. All right. I'll check in with you guys when I'm leaving. It's a party in here. Just kidding. You guys, there was the most pretty sunset outside the window. I'll put a picture in here. But it was so pretty. I it, There always seems to be a, a pretty sunset whenever I'm in the hospital. And, like, it's always so pretty because either when I was on the other side of the hospital, you could see it against the skyline like of this, all of the tall city buildings. Or this one, it's like all of the mirrored windows make like, it's always like, looks like a picture. But they're getting all my meds downstairs, all of my liquid medications, because that was one of the things that they're switching me over to liquid. 
and then hopefully I'll get this IV taken out soon. It's been so long since I've had a peripheral IV. I don't miss them. <sighs> but yeah, it's taking forever, but hopefully we'll go home soon. We're leaving. Is that yours? Uh, yep, that's mine. Say hi. great um we unpacked everything i have all of my medications in liquid form now so we just have a crap load of bottles and syringes um but i've had all my meds we've made up a chart for all of my medications and the times that i have to take them and right now while i'm recovering it's like a medication every hour so uh it'll be lots of little naps for me but I got this ice pack, um, which is feeling nice on my feeding tube, so I'm using that. Um, I think I'm going to keep vlogging for the next few days, just kind of as like a, the process, the whole process, and just till I'm feeling a bit better. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, I named my port and my GJ tube. So, I... The port my brother figured out the name for, um, and it is named Patrice the Port. Um, I really liked the name Patrick for my pick line, and so we named it Patrice as Patrick's cousin, cousin. Um, and for my GJ tube, I used kind of I used someone in the comments. I got the idea from someone in the comments, um, but I, they said to call it Georgia, but I want to call it George, um, and they said spell the second G with a J, and I was like, oh, that's so clever, so it's Patrice and George, so, yep, and I'm rocking these, uh, this hairdo that my sister did for me. She's so sweet. She came and did my hair. Well, you guys saw her. I showed you guys who she was. Sorry, you guys probably heard the shower upstairs. Uh, my mom wanted to get home from the hospital and shower, so. Yeah. Ugh. Port hurts. Ow. Tube hurts. Ow. But we're gonna get through it, and we're making progress. I'm home. So, we will just keep recovering, and... I don't know if I'll vlog much tonight as hopefully I'll sleep, but yeah, so I'm home. Change of plans. I woke up with 101.3 fever, so we are headed back to the hospital and I'm freaking out because I'm scared like you can get sepsis for a port. I'm freaking out guys. I have 101.3 fever and just a minute ago it was just 100.9, so 